Hello, here I am in Gotsis 2015 with the great Denise Lewis. Hello. Hello. Now, you won here, haven't you? I have. What year, yeah. was, what year uh, was that? 1997. Yes, it is a long time ago. <laughs> right. And why is Gotsis so great um, as a head competition? Or a multi events competition? I'm sorry, my phone's ringing. It's all right. Okay. Um, Gotsis, uh, I don't know. I think it's just because of all the legends that have passed through here, you know, dating back to the 80s. Olympic champions, world champions, they've all congregated to this little plot on the landscape in Austria and it's, it's the stuff of legends and so you've always felt if you wanted to make it in Heptagon, you needed to be here. And it kicks off the year, doesn't it? So yeah. like you kind of, you come here as a sort of marker for the beginning of the year, I suppose. Yeah, that idea. that's right. It's, it's, it comes at a great time of the year. People have come from their warmer, the training, they've maybe done one or two competitions. And so this really is a great test bed to see, you know, what stage you're at. Now here, from the British perspective, we're here because Jess is back. Her first proper heptathlon since 20, well, first heptathlon at all since 2012. Yeah. Um, she's had a sort of a good start to the day, you know, how, how do you think she's doing? I think um, her just was solid. Yeah, so it's, um, Knowing her, you know, she would have been a little bit disappointed, 13.24. You know, she's coming back. Yeah. yeah, she's coming back. And high jump for me was very impressive. Well, it was really good, it wasn't was it? Yeah. Really, really something special. I thought it? with the hurdles that um, it looked worse than it was because when you saw her come sort of fourth or fifth, which you're not used to seeing. Yeah. But the time actually was really decent. So well, someone coming back after all that time. Yes, and the winning time was what 13 flat. Yeah. And you know we're used to seeing just surpassing that sort of time, but it's you know she's not going to be disappointed as long as she can come away from this competition unscathed, no pain, with the score that, you know, makes her feel that she's going in the right direction. It's great. And 186 in the high jump, which is Fantastic. pretty good, isn't it? That's the same as she did at the Olympics, I think. I can't remember, it but is. what I what I know is she gave birth in July last year. <laughs> July last year. So, you know, her son is not even, Reggie, is not even 10 months old, you know? And here she is on the track, mixing it with, you know, people are at the best, um, and Denise, you obviously won the Olympics and then had a baby and made a comeback. How difficult is that? It's challenging. It really is. It's not easy at all. Um, even though Jess is making it look like <laughs> I have two. Um, but it, it's it's difficult because there is the sleep depri deprivation that you have to negotiate. Um, that separation that you will have to have with your baby as you travel, go warm with the training. Um, and just just the amount of hours that you probably can put in and Jess is going to have to train smarter because yes she's getting older she has to nurse some of those old injuries that she's had before so it's not easy but like I said Jess is making it look like you know what what's the what's the problem but she did say to me that she was you know she was stressful the high jump was really stressful with a beautiful smile so it does suggest that you know, that competitiveness is still there, but she's still not quite sure what she's capable of. Sure. And what do you think she's capable of this weekend? What are your expectations of her? If things continue to progress um, the way it is, I, I think she'll score six four and a half, maybe six five. Yeah. Which that's, would be fantastic. Which would be ex extremely I think what would be great about that, everyone would be scared. All the competitors yeah. here would be like, oh. Yeah. No, no, you're right. You're right. Because if, if she can do with just the only very small bit of winter training that has been interrupted and still come and score that kind of that kind of performance, you know, that's that's great. And we've also got Morgan here um, this week, um, this, this weekend. Yeah. Now, Morgan's obviously she's really young, only just 18. Mm. She's in the middle of A-levels, I think, at the moment. That's right. So I think we kind of have to temper our expectations of, of what she's got to offer, I suppose. I just think she's still learning, you know. She's got to get used to the disappointment. She would have been gutted about the hurdles performance. Um, I think 14.51, which she knows she can do better than that. Disappointment in the high jump. Um, but it's not a disaster. She's still in the mix. But it's all about learning. And that's the thing I think we understand that maybe she doesn't always, that we don't expect her to be winning everything. It's easy in the junior ranks, isn't it? You expect that's her to right. win. This is a whole different ball game, isn't it? It's so a whole different ball game. She that. does. She really does. And just keep the expectation realistic and, and try to take away from this competition the positives and if it does all blow up and if she finds it oh this was the worst performance I've ever put together learn from it why did it go wrong you know I know her head was you know her chin was down after yeah, those hurdles yeah. and I think she didn't really recover from that and that affected her high jump and she's got to learn she's got to put those emotions to bed 
if she's going to get to the scores that we know she's capable of. Because this isn't her time. You know, her time is in four, eight, ten years' time, isn't it? Yeah. That's when she's going to be at her peak. So yeah. now it's just really about learning your craft. I learning your craft. You know, she's still, as you said, so young. She probably hasn't done nowhere near the sort of, you know, weightlifting and, and conditioning that she will eventually do as she matures and develops. So she's got time on her side. Um, now, enough about them. I want to talk about you. Um, now obviously you competed here, as have all the greats of the event. We were discussing on our way here, where do you rank oh, in, in, the all time, <laughs> in the all-time greats of the event? How am I going to answer that? <laughs> How would you rank me? Okay, just... well, so, so who, who's, who's obviously ahead of you? Lots of people. No, there's no, not, it's a lot. not a lot. There are. There are. There are... Name, name them. Okay. Um, Sabina Brown, Nunes yeah. Barber. No. Um, Sabine Brown will Sabine, give you. Yes. Kluft. Kluft. Yes. JJK. Jess, yes. Jess, yes. yes. Yeah. There's got to be. That's um, four. Who else? Um, Tush and Skaya. Who? <laughs> no, she did the pentathlon. She did the pentathlon. Okay. Um, who else then? Um, another Sabine. Sabine, somebody. John. John. Yeah, but she doesn't oh, have an Olympic gold. Anything? Um, below that. Oh, she was banned. Yeah. Um, Garda Shua, but she was around Garda for two. Shua. She's around for two years. But still, Olympic champion. You're Olympic champion. 6'9". Yeah, you're 6'8", yeah, you're eight, something. Olympic bronze, two world silvers, a European gold and two Commonwealth golds. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Just accept you're one of the greats. Here I am with one of the greats, Denise. <laughs> Thank you very much, darling. <laughs>